Howdy, howdy, hipsters, flipsters, and finger popping daddies. Lend us your lobes because we care for your ears. <laughs> and we're glad you're here today to join us for another episode of the situation comedy known as Nick and Narf. Hey, Nick as back. the beaver, and I am <laughs> Mrs. Cleaver. <laughs> anyway, we're so glad you're here with us today. Thank you for joining us. Today we got a great treat for you. We're going to play a, 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 an from one album by this band, which has 15 tremendous albums and, and dozens of great, great songs. But this album has been, always been one of our favorites. Uh, America's the group. The album is Homecoming. Yeah. It's the second studio album released in 1972 off of their huge first album, uh, just self-titled America that was made actually in England. That's yeah. why this album is called Homecoming. They met and formed in England, right, Nick? Tell them right. about it. They were all three uh, sons of Air Force, um, uh, Air Force uh, military people that were stationed in England. And I guess Homecoming meant going back to Virginia, I think, was where they ended up attending school. But the fact is... Um, they, they met there shortly out of high school and formed in 1970 in London. They even worked with George, uh, George Martin of the Beatles. So wow. uh, pretty cool, man. And we don't, you know, I tried to find out how many records they sold. My guess is it's got to be over 50 million. 50 to 75 is easy because 15, uh, you know, they've been together for like 50 years. I was fortunate enough to yeah. see America Four times. That pisses I saw me America off. four times. I never saw him. Never saw him. That I, pissed me I saw him in California once and three times here in Tucson. And every time they were just great. No matter how old they were. I mean, even in the early, you know, the 90s when I saw them, late 80s and 90s, their yeah, voices were, were fabulous. Good. Their harmonies were awesome. And uh, they're just tremendous, tremendous. And this album I love so much. And I think you're going to enjoy the two selections we got. Nick selected, I mean, there's so many great songs. Ventura Highway was the biggest hit off That's this the album. That's the one I wanted to do but, but we're not gonna said, do that we're, let's do something else song to song this album top to bottom is miraculous whether really it's the love good. ballads the rockers the moody atmospheric pieces so we went in to get some deeper cuts off of this one because we want to share them with you they're so good uh anyway nick selected don't cross the river a great great tune which was played on the radio when the album came out this album went platinum in 1972 it's huge i don't know about you but i've probably listened to this this album a hundred times oh, when it came out in the first three months. I mean, I just kept listening to it over and over again. You know, in a sense, kind of like contemporaries to the Eagles, not necessarily, yeah. but they had their own unique style and their their harmonies were so nice. Their vocals were so nice. Their melodies were interesting, kind of between a bread and the Eagles. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, they kind of, you, you know... They and, cemented folk rock yeah. uh, in, as a as a genre that was here to stay, uh, along with like Buffalo Springfield, which were the forerunners, and maybe the Birds were, were teetering with it. But yeah. America brought it home, really, with three guys playing acoustic guitar, yeah. a little electrification, especially on this album, because uh, um, the first America album was more straight acoustic with just some bass. But here they bring some electrification and some layering of other instruments for a really gorgeous mix of songs on this album. Just tremendous. And I I really love their version of In a God of Davida. I think oh, yeah, it's just it's awesome. so good. <laughs> Only you got to see that live in concert because they don't perform <laughs> it anywhere but there. But anyway, we're so glad you're here with us today. And if you like what you're going to hear, please, we invite you to subscribe, like, and share. If you have already, yeah. thanks so much for being part of our journey and our brotherhood and our family. And uh, we know you're going to enjoy it. My selection is a song called Cornwall Blank, which was played on FM radios a lot, but never received the status. Yeah. But when you hear this song, you hear the the real Real talent of this band harmony wise musically and arranging because it's yeah. a gorgeous song but we're ready to kick yeah, into it right Nikki? It. okay hear it. so let's take a trip back to 1972 with our a great american namesake band america and don't cross the river here we go Broken heart 
sequence right into here. If you want, you can ride my train and soon forget the reason that you're leaving. Lose yourself and then some time, maybe even save yourself some grieving. Wonder who played banjo? Doesn't that banjo add so much to that song? It really does. And you know that that song comes in at two minutes and thirty two seconds. Yep. Goes to show you it was made to be played on AM, AM radio, radio and FM radio. But there were so many on that album. You, that, you were played on AM radio, weren't there? Oh yeah, I know there yeah. were. Ventura Highway was a, obviously their number one hit off of it. But they have some other other beautiful songs, Mary and all these, these other gorgeous. So if songs you guys don't know, Ventura Highway is also the. Or, you know, Ventura Freeway is the name of the 101 in in. But LA. it isn't the same. Apparently, this Ventura Highway, I think, refers to a highway in Spain. Is because Spain? Ventura is actually a city in Spain. Because we were trying to think, oh, it's about Southern California. That's what the, we thought. The Ventura Freeway. But it ain't the Ventura Freeway. It's some other place. I think it's in Spain. Because they were in Europe. So I think it's about, about Ventura. Makes total Europe. sense. Makes but total anyway, sense. what did you think of Don't Cross the River? Isn't it a gorgeous it's song? It's a nice and song. You know what's so strange? You know, when you hear the history of America, this is when they were at their purest, most, most, uh, yeah, purest is the word. Where they were the purest folk rock reality, where they were using voices, harmonies, and basic instruments. Yeah. Obviously, later they got into pop with more romantic songs, you know, with more orchestration, love songs that were more pop oriented. But this was the pure essence of what where they started out on the American music scene. But this album just really propelled them after the the debut album America they came were out. Big. This one was I mean, big. them Doobie Brothers. I mean, so many different groups got really big right around at the same time this and was America's the beginning of, of the golden age this was really the beginning 72 was when 71 72 everybody says 71 2 and 3 may have been the three most amazing years yeah. in rock history because the great album but america busted through with these amazing they albums did. and it was just great so yeah. what did you think leave us a comment hope you like nick's selection it's a great song Nicky. It, is, I love I, it. it is a great song now just here's great. a song that never got much of airplay it is just to me one of their most hypnotic magical moody songs with great shifts now frank wanted to play a horse with no name i'll be honest with yeah, you because he loves it but it. you know everybody's heard it so much but one thing we were reading is is something that frank turned me on to is i i didn't you know watch the show was breaking bad it, there there's a scene i guess where this song is in breaking bad and i don't remember not I watched, this song horse with no name i'm sorry horse with no name but i watched yeah. every episode and I'm trying to remember when that happened. I guess it happened when they were out in the desert oh, and they yeah. were, you They know. put a lot of great songs on, on that show. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, that, that were, were kind of used for specific occasions. What but, a great show, by the way. But this song, pay attention to the harmonies, the way the thing moves, it feels atmospheric. It's got a real mystical title. Very unusual for the album as, as the way the album moves, but it fits in in a lot of ways to the shifts in the atmospheres and the range of songs. But I hope you're going to like it. It's called Cornwell Blank. Let's so do it. Here it is from a America's homecoming album, Cornwall Blank. I've been down to the water, I've been on top of the world, somebody 
should come and see me Somebody should give me the word Cause I don't know how many more Comparison to the birds in Buffalo Springfield. Listen to this change here, it's nice. Go, oh, darling, darling, I always want to see you. Go, oh, darling, darling, I always want to see you. I cannot learn much more life. I cannot see much more. Somebody should stop the new sight Somebody should close the door Cause I don't know how many more You say America, people don't think of this song. No, really. I mean, this showed you what kind of songwriting and range of kind of subject matter and style. To get. You know when song came to mind that it kind of reminds me of? Wooden Ships by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Great. Doesn't it have a yes. kind of feeling of Very like wooden good. ships on the wall? You know, it really has a comparison to that, but I love That's this really, song. Did That's you, a good You hear comparison. all those layerings of guitar work in there? You've got like three or four guitars like playing together, even their different sounds and styles, acoustic, electric, the shift in the mood, and the tempo change in the middle. It's j- and then the harmonies are so gorgeous. I don't know how many oh, anymore. Uh, so friggin' kinda beautiful. A little bit too. I know it's gonna sound weird. Jesse Colin Young kind of reminds me a little bit of him, but, but like you said, the birds and Buffalo Springfield, kind of like a 
a meshing of all those yeah. groups. You America know? was, I mean, this is who they identified with, you know, and then the next album was uh, the one with Muskrat Love and some of the other stuff on it. And it kind of took them in a kind of a different direction. They were starting to move in a and little think different about direction. This, guys. They were in high school in London when they met and got together. They weren't going through what we were kind of going through here. You know, we'd gone through, you know, uh, Kent State and all these other things and the protests. And they were in... London, and they're coming up with this kind of music that kind of encapsulates suburban America. I don't know what, yeah, what you I might mean, call it. But it's, you know? it's with a country thing. It's kind of got a yeah. poetic quality, a kind of a, a rural quality, and yet it, it connects with people. Like Horse With No Name is, yeah, a, is like really. a, a song about like a, a psychic journey through a psychic landscape, you know, like a wasteland Tucson. almost. Tucson! <laughs> Almost like More Tucson. than coincidence? Nah, Tucson ain't yeah. a wasteland. It's beautiful. You should check it out. But anyway, what did you think of Cornwall Blank? What did you think of Don't Cross the River? Hope you enjoyed us. Leave us some comments and let us know what you think. I was lucky enough to see America four times. Never disappointed. Always entertaining engaging great harmonies great music and a good great 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 time um and if you like what you heard please subscribe like share we want to us we want to us we want to spread the love we appreciate you being a part of the tribe because we care for your ears we care for you and we thank you for all your love and support until next time guys next time from nikki and narf we're signing off with love to all of you see ya peace out bye-bye